Welcome to the eastern part of Thailand in Ubon Rochatani. We are in the house of uh, Mr. Bang, his father and family. Uh, Dr. Sivilai is also here. Uh, she, she is a professor from the university in Khon Khan and we make a trip to a man who is uh, well known around Thailand because of a TV show of, uh, because uh, they showed the Beatles that Bang is rearing and breeding here and uh, because I'm on a trip through Thailand I thought I have to tell to everybody on this world that is interested in Beatle breeding about the work of Bang. Thank you very much that I can he be here to today. So you're not only breeding insects from uh, Thailand, but yes. also from around the world. So what do you have uh, as a coleoptero species from Thailand? Is there something special here? Yeah. So you see we have a lot of things here. You can put it here so we can see it a bit closer. Dog has Corviden. 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 Yeah. Very nice one. Yeah. Beautiful. And these are a wild caught, or did, do you breed and, and rear them here? Yes, be there. You sell, you breed them yes. yourself. Very nice, yes. beautiful, and big one. Also, is a very big Torquus corvidens. Also in Japan, they would love to see this size of uh, of Torquus corvidens. This is a small one. Very nice. Also, we have to see from near a bit like this. What's that? Prosopocoilus from Thailand also a very nice people never seen this the first time I see something like this I've never seen it <laughs> uh, because it's also in the beetle scene it's probably a rare species it's very nice one also from your breeding Bit. Okay. okay, very nice. So he's not only collecting it in the wild, but really breeding it in the house of his family and his father <laughs> and everybody. So they have a lot of animals in here. Next one here. Dog, dog has lychee. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, we have two. Yeah, oh, so this is very nice. Bit there. Yeah, very nice, beautiful. Torquus, what's the name of the species? Do, do hat, leishi. Le leishi. Okay, leishi. Very nice. Beautiful. So we have a lover, not only of the exotic people from around the world, but it's nice to have people who care for the habitat of these people also in this country here, so that we are sen uh, sensitive for the environment in Thailand and I see that a lot of young people are very interested in beetle breeding. Is this the Titanus or what? Is this Titanus? Platymelus. Platymelus, yeah this is the subspecies from no, Thailand. Also this is, oh yeah, he, but he's very active. huh? He wants to pick me in the finger. Very nice one also. Titanus. I have the species from Palawan from the Philippine island and of course you know it from my videos um, that we have a lot of different subspecies of Titanus uh, along practically all the southeast Asian uh, part and the biggest one is from the island of Palawan in the Philippines but also this one is very nice but this wow what's that such a nice beetle also it is, what is it? Odon, Odon Tolabis, Siva. Siva. Also a beautiful male. Big one. So we see that Bang knows how to breed and rear them if they're looking so big and so nice. That's a sign for a good breeder and for someone who knows how to collect the right material for these people. Very nice. It's it's of course only the males because the females you probably keep for rearing and breeding. Oh, this is also nice what comes here. It's a really collection of living Thai stag people. He's a lover of stag people especially. Don't they fly away when you, be, when you are outside? This one, have you seen them flying around? Uh, no. Not? No. They are too lazy now because it's 
if need more hot or what? That they fly? No, 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 fly. By night. Okay, are they in the night? To yes, the, oh, okay. Yes. They are night active, like most of or or um, active during the evening. Yeah, okay. Just don't <laughs> pick me my finger, please. It's very... Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, but he wants to run away because they don't like the light so much. But this is also a very nice one here. Yeah. He wants to go to the shade. <laughs> yeah, we have to put him back. Where is it? Here. So we don't make a beetle fight. And then one more here. And then... Don't have anthes. Popeye. An anthes. 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 Yes, oh, this, but this is a real monster, huh? It would be good for Bekuwa yes. uh, for a world record. How long is it? It's really nice. So I hope that everybody in Japan is watching now and if you want to have this uh, Torkus on Tails, you have to make contact with Bang. Okay, yeah, very nice. So I've seen that you also have a lot of um, material um, from, from Japan here. Um, if we have a look at the books that you have collected, can you read this? Or you just look at the pictures? Can you read uh, Japanese? Is it uh, in Ta? Siam. Uh, no, uh, no, no. You cannot read the language? No. Okay, I cannot read it too. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Because I also have this book from Taiwan and with Mandarin Chinese read writing. So I only look the pictures, but Look, in Japan these pictures are made so nice and the books are made so good that even with looking at the pictures you can imagine very good what you should do. Also, these, all these details of the law with these perfect uh, photographs, that's what we don't know in Europe and also don't know, I think, here in, in Southeast Asia. That's a speciality of Japanese authors and the big, big knowledge of Japanese uh, people with that very nice book. I don't know it. It's <laughs> all new for me. So I have to open the book from the back side also. That's all, also new for me. Also this one here. As I said, it's also step by step this nice photograph that's Rhino something very Beetle. special. Rhino Beetle, a book. Okay. R only about Rhino, rhinoceros. Rhino. Yeah, that's of course. That could be something okay. like a Caucasus, Caucasus. Okay. You have a very nice one over there. Yes, show it to us. It's, but this is not from Thailand, or? Okay. Is it? Really? Yes. Okay, it's this big one. Incredible. Look at this monster. We must, yeah, very beautiful. But you, you catch it yourself, this one? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Yes, really? And where? In the north, or where? <laughs> it's, it's far away from here, or uh, close here, around, that you catch this one. Mm. So probably you can hear, help, <laughs> come on, come on, that's the TV light, thank you. Thank you. you just waited here in the background, but you're the expert, not in beetles, but in insects, edible insects, and especially silkworm uh, cultivation, you're probably the most the best expert in that, mm, um, in that field. Yeah, no, no, you, you hope, but I know. <laughs> so, could you please translate? I want to know whether he's, he, he caught that, uh, that big uh, beetle here around the, the <laughs> village? <laughs> or it was Chantaburi. Uh, another province, Chantaburi. Oh, it's far name. from here? Or? Yes. Okay, pretty far. So, uh, beetle breeding is something new to you also a little bit. Huh? Yes. Because it, uh, yes. So, uh, what do you think about it? Um, just a very spontaneous. Oh, I feel really wonderful okay. to see, to have a chance to know, and uh, young ladies yeah. and uh, expert like you to okay. join together. I feel really wonderful to preserve the environment. That's very nice what you said because I also think I'm I'm an older uh, semester, you know, um, that it's nice to bring young people in contact with entomology, yes. and insects in such a natural way as caring for them and looking for them outside in the surrounding environment and I see not, not only with Bang but with your friends and colleagues from the Thailand People Breeder Club there are a lot of them now 
and they are growing. How many people here in this uh, town are beetle breeders now? You are the only one? But no. are some more people like you breeding beetle? Breeding, huh? breeding, yeah. Uh, so. So I'm sure after this video is on the YouTube, you will have hundreds coming to your house and you'll be happy that you have these dogs outside parking when they come. <laughs> <laughs> but now they are quiet. Before it was just a big barking orchestra here in the background. Okay. That's very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Tavilla. We have the chance. If you, um, if, if you watch my videos, you will see Dr. Tavilla in other videos about uh, edible insects and, uh, and silkworms. Really. Okay. Thank you very okay. much. So okay. now we want to see some you of the come. other... Of the other um, now, you are from Thailand, from Chiang Mai yourself. Yes. Which of these people did you already see as a child probably uh, or this 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 one male and male okay this, as this I is was in my childhood yeah yes. you say this is the Dong Kwang in, in yes. Chiang Mai but yes. you said that in Kong Khan you say this is a different name Mang it is uh, what, what is hmm. you said it uh, has uh, a different uh, not name <laughs> oh, not the name uh, yes okay not not the same no. as uh, in in Chiang Mai. Oh, it's another name here yes, in yes. Kong, Kong the, Khan. The local name. Yeah, but uh, what, what is called in Kong Khan? Mm, um, really not uh, sure. Okay. Uh, look similar. Okay, similar. Yes. And this one, did you see this one here? The in Thailand already. From Japan. Japan. Dich this one from oh. Japan. But this also yeah. happens in Thailand. In the north, in the north, north yeah. but uh, a few. Okay, also we can see it on the land. See, this is the this is the Taiwanese Gideon beetle here, uh. the, the classical Kwong, the fighter of the forests of the mountain, and of course the females next to it. And this is the Alumurina di Kotomo uh, from Japan. Thank you. And what is this rose chever here? Uh, Tolinolina family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never seen it. Very nice. Also with this holographic structure on the back. So, thank you. Now the international collection we have in the back here. We just uh, changed. I wanted to finish with the books, but you see there are a lot of uh, books. We already talked about it. This Bekuwa. This is the classical beetle breeder magazine worldwide. It's the only one um, that has this quality and it's a million business in Japan. If you see all the advertisement here, you can imagine how big this business is and every shopping center has some things. And in Thailand, I only know one shop uh, that sells the stuff in Bangkok, the beetle store of Tom and Kate that you yeah. probably know also. So, all the people who are really into this beetle breeding in Thailand, they are very close together, connected, I think. And that's also something very nice about young people today. Even if you're alone in a city outside in the country, you can be connected with all the others via Facebook and, uh, and the one. Also one, another one here, very nice. Yeah. Oh, this is from Thailand. Thailand. Oh, I've never seen it. Oh, this is something special. A book from Thailand. Very nice. So wh where can I buy it? Is there a shop where, you, where, where, yeah, where they shop. sell them? Okay. So I have to, uh, in Chiang Mai only, I have to ask in Bangkok because I can't go to Chiang Mai this year. So <laughs> or I ask Dr. Sibila if she want to go to Chiang Mai yeah, to her hometown. Sure. Okay. And uh, very nice. Beautiful. So let's see the other species that Mr. Bang is breeding and rearing. And I was also let's say really astonished how big and beautiful this, uh, this other species are. Let's have a look. I bring them from here because he has them all in these plastic boxes you see here. And now we go just step by step and try to see. Because these are species that we have already uh, presented in other videos. We don't have to uh, tell you too much about them. Yeah, probably need to clean up a little bit here. Also, what I want to show you, because uh, Mr. Bang had told me this, look at this beautiful 
uh, beautiful illustrations from the Big Kuo magazine about uh, stag beetles worldwide. This is our European stag beetle here, and it's all classified from continents. We have from Australia, Asia, uh, South America, and also, of course, you see here some of the species from Thailand. Which one? Uh, I don't remember anymore. Girafa, uh, you have yes. also. Yeah, Girafa, yeah. you have. Then how Exortrius, we have seen it here. Yes. The Perry, um, and yeah. Andres. Torcus on Theos, yes, this is also, and also like this, it's, it's a pity that we can't have this kind of illustrations in Europe, but I'm sure if we have some more videos on this channel, we will have this kind of stuff. What do you have here? I'm really curious. Aha, uh -huh. it's hidden down there. Metasoma elephant. elephant. It's elephant. from your own breeding, huh? Yes, breeding. He showed me the pupa before on his iPhone. It's really a nice and big and beautiful and very well formed. No deformations, no nothing. Perfect shape of it. And here on the, the, on the lupa you can look him in the eye. He was born in Thailand, from Middle America, born, born in Thailand, yes. Mexico. Yeah, but this one is born in Thailand, <laughs> from Mexico, but that's beautiful. So you also have uh, pairs of them, you also pair them and, and make them and they, they lay eggs? Yes. Okay, very nice. So you have a constant breeding process. And also, this is really something special. Also, from this beautiful Hercules people, you showed me the, the, the pupa that you yes. had. Very, very nice. Beautiful. Extraordinary. Also, the size is really, really beautiful. Look, you guys in Japan, what this guy in Thailand is doing. He is breeding. Hercules, Hercules, so big that I can't present it onto the lens because it's too big, virtually, for this lens here. Very nice. Very nice. Also in perfect shape and colors. Very nice. Congratulations. My real gratulations. This is really an artwork for itself. And you have the female also here, I've, I've seen before, but you don't have to take it out. We just um, show some more of them. And we have one more and then we are finished uh, for today, but I'm sure we will uh, see something more from Mr. Bang later, probably he starts doing his videos then himself and publish them in the internet. Yes, this is also nice that a species from Australia has found its way to Japan, uh, to, to Thai, Thailand, and it's the most beautiful I know from the stag beetles. And it's the only one that girls really love. Look, Dr. Sibila. This is... It's like made from gold. Huh? Yes, it's a, yes. It's like a girl would like to have it as a yes, doll. Yes, yes. So the color look like boot. Boot, boot 3D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's very nice. It's from Mind Australia. Up. And he's also breathing. And he's also breathing it himself in this uh, artificial white rotten wood called kimchi from Japan. That's also something that I really appreciate about you guys in Thailand, that you make this kimchi yourself, because in Europe they're struggling for it since years and they didn't really succeed in doing that, and you're really happy to succeed with this process. Oh, this is a very nice pair here. Yeah. Beautiful. So an another continent here. Now we come to the north of America. And it's probably the last for for this program. What is it? Dynasty Titius. Titius. Very beautiful also. Nice one. So when did you when did you start breeding? What a long time ago already as a small child? Or yes. huh? And how old were you when you first had some people? Yes. How old? 
11, 11 years old. He was 11 when yeah, he had his first. Years uh, old, yeah. uh, and you caught it from the wild, or what your first people? The the uh, so one yeah. of uh, his father. Okay. Take to Joey. Oh, okay. Yes. You you he get the people from from another man and he cared for it. Yes, okay. and just show that time. And he interested in from that time on. Okay. So you hear that everybody around is starting to work again. So I think we stop now working and we have a cup of water and keep on discussing. If you want to reach us, uh, don't forget you can comment to this video or write to Mr. Banks. I'm writing, if I may, uh, his uh, email address or, or connection to the Facebook in the back of the video so you can see and you need to get that email. Thank you. Thank you.